Coalition of the Southeast Youth Leaders, COSEYL, and Apex Sociopolitical Front for all youth groups in the Southeast region has identified loop sided appointments into federal government owned institutions against the principle of federal character as factor responsible for alarming insecurity in the country. According to the Coalition of Southeast Youth Leaders, COSEYL, equal distribution of federal appointments will make all regions feel among as well as address the various security challenges, especially the plagues the Southeast region has suffered in recent time. The group president, General Honorable Goodluck Ewo Iben, and his National Publicity Secretary, Comrade O.K. Unwaru, disclosed this in a jointly signed statement Sunday, even as it commended Governor Samuel Autumn of Benue State for speaking out for the region and other parts of the country. Autumn had in a recent event where he presented keynote address at Enugun, Enugun State, urged federal government to address lopsided appointments and infrastructural challenges as it would help to address insecurity facing the region. As a youth coalition that want peace, both regional and national, we affirmed that if on the basis of federal character principal appointments are equally distributed among all groups in Nigeria, as insecurity wouldn't be as alarming as it is now. The Coalition of Southeast Youth Leaders, COSEYL, the Apex Sociopolitical Front for All Youth Groups in the Southeast region, read a release by an amorphous and faceless group warning Governor Samuel Autumn of Benue State to stay away from Southeast politics. As we can see, it is obvious that most people are not interested in Samuel Autumn of Benue State. It is obvious that most people don't even like him, and that is why we've heard, according to this news, that the Coalition of the Southeast Youth Leaders, the Apex Social Political Front for All Youth Groups in the Southeast region, read a release by an amorphous and faceless group warning Governor Samuel Autumn of Penway State to stay away from Southeast politics. What is your thought about this? Why do you think this is coming? Why do you think this kind of warning is coming to the governor of Pinu State? Well, let's move forward and see what we have more in the news. We wish to take at uh, this time, pardon, make it categorically known to such group that as long as Nigeria remains a project in progress, any stakeholder, regardless of their ethnic nationalities, has a say in whatever happens outside their region. Part of the statement said, What is your thought about this present situation of things? What is your own reaction to this present situation of things? We wish at this time make it categorically known to such group that as long as Nigeria remains a project in progress, any stakeholder, regardless of their ethnic nationality, has a say in whatever happens outside their region, part of the statement said. What is your own point of view concerning this? As we can see, series of things are really happening in this country of which we are not even aware of. And it has been hitting up this country, bordering on insecurity and other issues of which has become the order of the day in this country. According to what you've heard in the news, Coalition of the Southeast Youth Leaders you know, the Coalition of the Southeast Youth Leaders and Apex Sociopolitical Front for all youth groups in the Southeast region has identified loop sided appointments into federal government-owned institution against the principle of federal character 
as factor responsible for alarming insecurity in the country. As we can see, this has just been revealed to us the real cause of insecurity in the Southeast. And when you take, you know, as we can see, even the Southeast leaders are the major cause of their problem. And as we can see, the Southern governors, the Southern elites, the Southern political, you know, elites are not in one voice. They don't speak in one voice. And even when they agree on something, some of them will still go contrary to their agreement and that is why the northern part of nigeria are taking advantage of them and the northern part are taking advantage and they are making use of such opportunity of which are one of the reasons why nigeria is lacking behind in most things which other countries are benefiting from nigeria is said to be the giant of africa looking at the present situation of things you know that nigeria is not giant Anyway, let's assume Nigeria was like this when it was, you know, chosen as the giant of Africa. We all know that Nigeria wouldn't have been chosen. But, well, we are looking forward to see that this country will become another great country again. Because all these things must not continue like this. We just hope that in no time, all this issue bordering on terrorism, insecurity, Kidnappings and adoption will become things of the past because if it continues like this, it could lead to, you know, the triggering of mother of war in this country. And that is what we have been trying to, you know, avoid in this country. That is why we have different agitating groups in this country, people agitating for what they think is the best way to go about the present situation of things because nobody wants to continue to lose their loved ones. Imagine people traveling without rest of mind because they can be attacked anytime. Imagine people sleeping without rest of mind. People can no longer sleep with their two eyes closed because nobody knows when the next attack is coming up and nobody knows where the next target is. So everybody is just, you know, prepared because we don't know when the time will come. It's just like the coming of Jesus Christ that is coming, you know, anytime of which even the servant of God does not even know. That is exactly the way people are feeling considering the level of insecurity in Nigeria because we have seen people who were sleeping and this bandit just came from nowhere, you know, and start killing, shooting anyhow, shooting sporadically and many people lost their life that people have to start running helter skelter, seeking for, you know, shelter somewhere else. So all these things are really you know making nigeria to lose in so many ways and nigeria have continued to borrow and borrow and borrow nigeria is borrowing in hard currency whereas our naira is useless as we can see series of things are really affecting us in this country we would like you to drop your thoughts on this that has been said don't forget that it has been revealed to us the real cause of insecurity in the southeast by the